In the early 2000s, the Vic family was lighting it up on Saturdays at Virginia Tech, and they brought an explosive quarterback play fans had never seen before. We all know Mike's story, but in college, his little brother Marcus was just as electric. In 2005, Marcus and the Hokies were red hot and were in the hunt for a national championship. But where is little bro now? I'm Riley Wynn and I'm here to tell you just what happened to Marcus Vick, the younger brother of one of the most dynamic quarterbacks the NFL has ever seen. Marcus Vick showed up in Blacksburg on the heels of his older bro smashing dozens of records and taking the Hokies all the way to the BCS National Championship game. Fans were pumped when Marcus showed up in 2002, but Coach Frank Beamer redshirted him to let him develop. He made his way onto the field sparingly in 2003, but his explosive run game was pivotal in upsetting number two ranked Miami. Before the 2004 season, Marcus Vick had multiple run-ins with the law. First from an incident with underage girls resulting in multiple delinquency of a minor charges. Then before he could even take a snap, Vic was then charged with reckless driving and possession of marijuana. Ultimately, the school suspended him for the semester and it forced him to miss the entire season. Coach Beamer told the media Vic would be the third string QB for the 2005 season. Despite all of his off the field problems, when Marcus was on the field, he was a game changer and quickly won back the starting job. His junior year, he threw for almost 2,400 yards and ran for another 400. He logged 26 total touchdowns and the Hokies were one of the best teams in the country. They ended up getting a dub over Louisville in the 2006 Gator Bowl. Although he had a ton of success his junior year, there were still plenty of speed bumps before the Vic train finally derailed. Marcus flipped off the West Virginia crowd and pushed a coach on the Mountaineer sideline in a game. And although they won the Gator Bowl, it had plenty of controversy at the hand of Marcus. Well, more like his foot. In the second quarter, after a routine tackle, he stomped his cleat into the leg of Louisville's All-American defensive end, Elvis Doomerville. Marcus finished the game, but the higher-ups at Virginia Tech were pissed. On January 6th of 2006, Virginia Tech announced Vic's permanent dismissal from the program. Marcus Vic's response? It's not a big deal. I'll just move on to the next level, baby. Well, he didn't quite have the resume like older bro Mike, and I would bet a majority of his scouting report was taken up with off the field issues. Marcus Vick ultimately went undrafted, but signed with the Dolphins after going to their rookie minicamp. Miami had him in a Taysom Hill type of role where he was a receiver and considered more of an athlete than a reliable quarterback. He bounced between Miami's practice squad and active roster and got some playing time in one game, but never caught a pass. At the end of the season, his contract expired. The Dolphins were done with him, and so was the NFL. It was clear he was way too much of a liability off the field for anyone to touch. And since he didn't have football anymore, the legal issues in college snowballed into a full-on avalanche. Over the next decade, he had a civil suit again involving underage girls, he had firearms charges, multiple DUIs, violated his probation, drug possession charges, assault of an officer, resisting arrest, and was in and out of jail. It's really sad to see videos of him running away from the police and not defenders on the gridiron. Marcus Vick had all of the talent in the world, but from the very start of his career until now, he hasn't been a great dude and could not stay out of trouble, making many wonder what if. What are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know. I'm Riley Wynn. See you on the next one. If you want to see who we cover on our next episode of What Happened To, subscribe now and make sure to turn on those notifications.